Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, Brent here from My50. Um, I was just getting my little RG Gamma ready for compliance here. And um, you guys might have seen the video where I was trying to get it started. Got it started, that's all good. All the lights and indicators work except the brake light. So I've been trying to troubleshoot that and um, came across a few things that I learned from guys in video in YouTube. So I just thought I'd um, share that with you and uh, see how you go. So if you're having troubleshooting a real easy way to see where that trouble comes from in the wiring without sort of pulling the whole thing apart. So here's the here's the rear tail lights. So we wanted to I just wanted to be sure that obviously that it's not the one of the filaments that are that are broken. Sometimes you can see there's I don't know if you can see it in there, but yeah, there's two filaments inside the bulb, and one is the brake, one is the the tail light. And to test that, we take the negative, you'll see at the bottom of the light, there's the two little patches there, two filaments, or two, two touch pads, I don't even know what they're called, but anyway. So negative on the side, positive onto one side, oh, let's see, can you see that? Positive onto one side, that's the tail light, and then you'll see the brighter one, which is the brake light. Tail light, brake light. So the bulb is working. So we check the bulb, um, and I'll show you how to do that, uh, just to make sure that the bulb wasn't the problem. So the bulb definitely wasn't problem, the problem. I then took off the wiring here to see if everything was connected. Uh, these are the two wires um, on the RG, the white and black and the orange. Those are responsible for all the braking. There's two sections that come into this bike, there's this one here, which uh, works off the, the switch over here. So that's for the front brake. And then there's one on the main harness, which comes out over here. This is for the main harness. So this is where you join the main harness, where uh, it works off the little switch that's over on this side at the back here. So here's the switch. Uh, I don't know if you can see it there. Yeah, not bad light. But anyway, there's a little spring that's connected to the to the brake pedal. Once that goes, it breaks the circuit and away you go. Okay, so this is a cool little tool that uh, you've got. Um, it's a multimeter. And what you wanna do is you wanna set it to ohms. So you've got the black in common and the red in volt and ohms. And then you can see when you put them together, there is a resistance. Take them off. Back to zero. I don't know if you can see that. There's the resistance. Okay. So what we wanted to do is test the resistance on the wiring to make sure that it's not a problem with the actual switch. So this is the this is the one for the front brake light. This thing's actually broken, but anyway, it still works. Okay, so if there's a resistance now, it means that the switch is working. There's no resistance, but that's obviously cause, oh, I'll hold this here. Can you see that? If I press the brake, resistance. Let the brake go, no resistance. That means the problem's not at the switch. So the wiring is okay. Okay, so then when we came around to the back, this is, we tested, I tested the resistance on, on these two wires here, which is the switch that goes down to the brake lever. There was no resistance here when it was on and off. So clearly there's a problem somewhere here. Luckily for me, I had a spare one, uh, which I've just tested on here. Tested the resistance, works properly when the circuit's broken. So I swapped it out and the tail light's working. So essentially knowing how to test resistance using a multimeter is really gonna help you when it comes to the wiring and finding exactly where the point on the wiring where the fault is. So hope that's helped you out guys. If you like what we do, subscribe to the channel, my50.com and uh, send us some of your videos. Let us know what your thoughts are and uh, we look forward to helping you in the next videos. Cheers.